What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Phil Shock of the United States Judge Joe here with our last week of GADL. Um, as you can see, I have not played my week eight games, my week 16 yet against Connor, but it's obviously due to the score because I like to build my last two teams of the week, whether it's playoffs or I don't make playoffs, stuff like that. But we're going against Camera Eruption, who I've only faced, I think, in total two times. One where I beat him in Inigo, and then one he beat me in his own league. And uh, this is, a, I think, our rubber match here, but he's going to win this game. I just know he is. His team is just stupid. I don't know how they get, how people let him have this draft. But if you guys can, hit the like button. If you already subscribed to the Drone Filter here today, because you'll be familiar with the game of the crew. Also, spoiler alert, we never brought a cell board in one game, so it's a good thing I dropped that free agent move and made him on the team, right? Nonetheless, let's go break down Cam's team. But if you haven't already liked, comment, share, subscribe, join the Filter here today, because you'll be familiar with the game of the crew. He's got Torkoal, G-Max Venusaur, Necrozma, Grimmsnarl, Noivern, Rhydon, Vikavolt, Sneasel, Corviknight, Meanshout, Vaporeon. So this man has webs plus sun. What do I freaking do here? I tell you what, I just straight up die. <sighs> so what I decided to do is I had to think this out. So I think Vaporeon has a terrible matchup versus me because of the sun. And I just think what I have is just not good for him. Uh, Mian Xiao is a little bit viable versus me, but I don't think it's the answer he's looking for. Corviknight is definitely something that needs to be on the but like, body press set just basically beats me. 100% just beats me. Uh, Sneasel, actually, offensively, like a choice ban or something like that, is definitely a very hard thing by team to deal with. The only reason I don't... <sighs> See them bringing Sneasel is because of the priority I have on my team with first impression plus uh, mock punch. So, definitely something they're going to keep on the lookout for there. Vikavolt definitely can come over one of these mons because of the fact that Vikavolt, from an offensive standpoint, is very, very, very hard for my team to switch in on to. And if he's agility, Vikavolt, I give him that free option to agility up. He's literally going to probably sack it off, but I'll put so many dents into my team that I'm going to struggle going against the rest of his team. So, uh, I think the the Sun combo just makes the most sense versus me. I think Necrozma just is phenomenal versus me. I don't have much for that thing. Grimmsnarl, even though I do have some stuff that's kind of good versus Grimmsnarl, I don't think he's going to pass up on screens for this. But he could bring the bike up for screens unless he wants, unless he's going to want to bring webs. Uh, Noivern is very, very good for pivoting, knowing what item I am, and just to pretty much just click a dragon move. Because it, besides how to read, it could pretty much just click a dragon move. <sighs> Instead of a, um, a flying type move. But it can pretty much just also lock into a flying type move pretty safely as well. It's probably going to be specs probably, or heavy duty boots and just be U-turn and then dual stab. And then probably either a coverage move or maybe roost. If he's, if he's got roost and he's not probably specs. And then ride on. Ride on just generally is very annoying. I don't have a grass type. I don't have a water type. And my water type can't really come. So I think ride on seems pretty much perfect to come for something. So let's quickly go over the team I have before I fall asleep. But we're first up bringing Rotom. It's Lit, who has been, I think, the MVP of the season. We have Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Overheat, and Thunder Wave. Yes, I am running Thunder Wave over something like, say, Willow is. Is it a little risky? Yes, but do I think it's the correct play? Yes, I think Thunder Wave is 100% the best play of this matchup, just because if I can slow down Necrozma, if I can slow down the Venusaur, it's just going to open so many doors for my team to come in and sweep. Even paralyzing a Grim Snarl would be great, because then it can't, then it has chances of getting its Prankster basically nullified by getting, um, having a chance to fail instead of guaranteeing getting the screens up, so it's really, really good. My main stab and electric is pretty strong versus him as well, but main stab is also overheat, which can just kind of click a button since it's got the sun. I'm next to bring our G-Max last season, and uh, G-Max Gengar was an okay one. It wasn't the best, it wasn't the greatest, but who knows. G-Max Gengar here with 116 HP, 20, max special attack, 24 in speed, 16 speed, with the modest nature. I don't know why it's not modest. Running Sludge Wave, Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, and Nasty Plot. We're going to try to go broke for game here. Click Nasty Plot. And then basically start clicking attacks. If I can get my if I can get rid of that right on, then Roto has a really free time, and it's just gonna be really good. But this team again is just gonna be really different from how I 
usually have my teams, but Gengar is rolling this game, so hopefully just click a button. Hopefully get a position to be okay to click Nasty Pot, or a position to go ahead and lure something in, and then just BAM! Knock them out with a move. And just do a lot of damage to them, so there's something like that there. Um, I actually have quite a bit of both on Gengar, but Gengar can actually really take on um, the hits if I uh, prepare correctly and actually do some work with it. I'm next to bring my Keeper Berry Hatterene. This is for the, this is for when he has a G-Max Venusaur out. I bring this in, I click Trick Room, it's his last turn. I can click Calm Mind, live the hit, as he goes back to the regular Venusaur. I've got the Psychic, which can basically knock him out. We are running the Modest Nature, Max HP, with 12 in defense, 12. And then he choose for death with the 152 in Modest Nature's investment. Basically, if Hattering gets under Trick Room, Hattering can freely just click some buttons and also can just click Trick Room. Um, I like Leftovers and I do like Drady Kiss, but. <sighs> Excuse me. From a damage out point, I don't know if Drady Kiss is the play when I do like something like Psychic. First time I'm ever going to use this is Choice Scarf Haxorus here. 128 in HP, max attack out of it, 32 speed up, 96 speed. The focus, the focus point on Haxorus here is to be faster than literally everything on his team that's outside the sun. And that's what we did. We basically made this thing to where if max speed no everyone comes, we are faster than max speed normal. We can click the outreach and knock that thing out in one shot. We should be basically guaranteeing to one or two hit everything except for potential steel types, rock types, and stuff like that in that type of nature, but I think Haxorus, King Rex here, can just kind of click some buttons. I don't know if Molebreaker ignores uh, Prankster, I don't know. Just really depends on what they do. Up next, we're bringing Midnight, or Umbreon here. Pretty much specially defensive Umbreon, max HP, 40 defense, 15 to death. Wish, Toxic, Protect, Power Play, Standard, Special Ops, Death, which they'll probably assume. But it's my only way to really beat a lot of things on his team and just stall out his teams. I can hopefully toss stall out his G-Max turns. But it's this matchup's not going to be easy, and I, again, like I said, I don't expect to win this matchup. This matchup is just like not in my favor at all. And up next, and last but not least, we have Lego Hair. We're going to actually run a little bit of a risky set. We're running four attacks wider with the close combat. That to be my wider knockoff, rock slide, and blaze kick, along with close combat. Basically, he hits and beats the rest of the entire team. The goal is to hopefully get my close combat at the right specific moment, and then I can start clicking things like rock off, rock slide, blaze kick again and be able to be picking up a win every single time so that's gonna be the team guys it's gonna be a bit of a shorter team but i'm getting tired i'm gonna be ready for bed but leave a like if you haven't already subscribe to the first recruit today because we really the crew but i'll see you guys next time until next time guys peace